Mr. Chairman Desmond McKenzie, as usual, being vintage, party leader and Mrs. Holnet, my deputy chair, trustees, and other officers of this party, the ministers, MPs, and caretakers, mayors, councillors, our social media warriors, delegates, and my fellow Jamaicans, both here and overseas, greetings. Today we mark 78 years, and today I'm feeling good just like you. We are looking good, we're feeling good, and we're good. This is our very first virtual conference, and it has been a success. I want to big up the team that has pulled this together. And rather than 20,000 of us bungling up at the arena, today in the comfort of your homes, you and your neighbor can watch labor. As you know, it is because of the pandemic why we are meeting like this. And I tell you why I miss the arena and the good vibes. I want to thank the voters from across Jamaica and to say a special thank you to returning the Jamaica Labour Party for a second term. We also want to use this opportunity to big up the new MPs from across the island, but a special big thank you to the people of Westmoreland for returning their three MPs to the Jamaica Labour Party. Let us also thank our healthcare workers and social welfare workers, police officers and soldiers who continue to go beyond and above the call of duty, our bus drivers, taxi operators and delivery men. We want to thank them because as we face this pandemic as a nation, tough decisions have to be made and tough decisions ask for tough leadership. It is not always the tough decisions, it's not always for self or parties and interests, but for the interests of Jamaica and Jamaicans. In our leader, our Prime Minister, we have found such a leader and we are proud of him. He has proven time and time again that positivity, unity and compassion will win over negativity. He has to take tough decisions and those decisions are never popular but they are the right thing to do. Closing the borders was the right thing to do. The lockdowns were the right thing to do. Vaccinations is the right thing to do. The states of emergencies in our communities plagued by crime is the right thing to do. Transferring the, the, from my portfolio, Clarendon Alumina production to the Ministry of Finance was the right thing to do, and I support that 100% because ultimately Jamaica will benefit. This is not a time for ego and self-interest. This is a time for Jamaica. In the Transport and Mining Ministry, there are a lot of right things going on. We have reintroduced the bauxite levy. We have removed some 2,000 hectares of land from a bauxite license to free up that land so that there can be no mining near the cockpit country because already there is no mining in the cockpit country. We have not renewed some licenses that were not being used, so free them up for new investment. Some other fact have been taken to court over that, but we stand by it. We are going to launch a castor oil production project so that we can grow castor oil, make the oil, mix it with diesel, and the JUTC will become a ready market. We can reduce our carbon footprint. We have a bauxite land tackling program that I'm so proud of. We are moving to correct an historic wrong and to get people their titles who have been denied that over the years. We are moving to clear the backlog of some 3,000 titles. As a matter of fact, you see Rasal in Uatan, they are down to only 82 titles outstanding. We are proud of the work we are doing. We'll be reintroducing the train to carry our students and we're going to do a cashless service because we are targeting the children on par. Today, you have to take a road code test before you get your learner's license, thus improving road safety knowledge, and hopefully, this will save lives. We have made the Transport Authority into one of the first government entities that offers all its services online. No more bungling and no more lying. We are looking to buy more electric and LNG buses to reduce our carbon footprint. We are about to launch a training app for our taxi and bus drivers and a safety app for the passengers because too many of our passengers are being kidnapped and robbed. We have to do something about it. We continue to work with the Ministry of Labor and Tourism 
in order to get another 10,000 Jamaican jobs and cruise ships. We are laying the groundwork to build back stronger. As the chairman of the party, it is my job to get our party ready. And party leader, today I wish to report to you that we are ready for the local government elections. The organs of the party is in place and we are ready. We know that some people somewhere else not ready because they're calling on the prime minister to sign an MOU not to keep any elections. Which opposition party you hear about that don't want no elections? Something not right. Something wrong. You know me, delegates. That them over there, I hear them even going to change their name and call themselves Rise United. You know that I used to call the man that was over there before, you know, such man. We used to say he was our secret weapon. Well, them change him and then give us a nice man. I like him. I like him very much. That man is going to be the Jamaica Labour Party's greatest asset in our history. And therefore, we must protect him. We must keep him safe. We mustn't criticize him because I want bro God to get two good election victory out of him. Never before has our party been stronger, more united and resolute in our mission. We must leave arrogance behind, humble ourselves and remember how we got here and who helped us. Let us take care of our workers, support them, visit them, Share their joys and sorrows. Don't get too big for the people. Don't replace old friends with new, but make space for the new and the young. Listen to the people, and they will listen to us. We know that government don't win elections. It is parties that do. So do your canvas. Do your training. Visit the people in your communities, but remember to preach at home. Dance a yard before you can dance abroad. Delegates and Jamaicans, there was a little young boy from St. Mary who reached school late one evening. And teacher was about to punish him and him shout out, Me late miss because my dog have puppy and all of them are PNP. The teacher smiled and said, Go inside, sit down and get ready for class, boy. But the next week, inspector visit the school. So teacher wanted to impress inspector and no inspector is a PNP. She said, Tommy, tell inspector about your dog, but more importantly, tell him about the puppies. He said, yes, sir, my dog have puppy last week, and all of them are labor right, I broke God, them say. Teacher said, but boy, last week you said they were a PNP. He said, yes, miss, but that was before they opened their eye. Their eye opened now and them can see, and all them say, a prosperity. <laughs>